All right, so this is uh, lines 11 through 20 from Amoris 112, and, uh, and Ovid is mad. Ovid is angry. Um, Nape brought back the, the letter, the, the, the wax tablet, and it did not have good news. Um, apparently, she wrote a lot, but what she wrote was basically, forget it, pal, I'm not coming. So he's going to blame everybody, everything and everybody uh, but himself. He's already blamed Nape. He's blamed the wax. And now he's going to continue talking about that wax. And then he's going to talk about the wood. And he's going to talk about the tree that the wood came from. Uh, he is really upset. Um, here we go. He says, but, and then Tom Colm here is as or just as, uh, deeply or deep within and, and medicated here with cinnabar and this is a you know a spice um, he says you were red you were glowing red almost um, medicated here maybe not the best translation more something like um, you know died with or treated with and so the wax um, for these tablets was usually not like what we might think of as like a that uh, yellow or cream color, it's usually a darker color and sometimes it had that, that a red tinge to it and that's what he's talking about here. So just as, um, just as if medicated uh, deeply, just as if dyed deep within with cinnabar, you were red. That color truly was bloody. So not a good omen, right? And then Yakeat is here, from Yakeo to, to, to lay, to lay out, to lie. Um, and it's the justive subjunctive here, uh, or the hortatory subjunctive here. So may you lie in the crossroads. And this nominative plural agrees with the, the subject here, the plural subject. So may you, having been tossed out, lie in the crossroads. Uh, so like on a, like a, you know, the crossroads of two streets, um, useless wood. And may you, we assume, because we have the wos again, uh, and then we get wheels, and then from God here, but that's this is our signal, we, he's changing the syntax. So may something break you, it must be. And so we're going to keep going here, praeteriuntis, we figure out that rotai is genitive with praeteriuntis, and then onus, so here may the burden, <clears throat> or maybe the weight here, so may the weight of a passing wheel break you and of course praeterio to pass by and this is the the genitive the is the third declension is from this present active participle form so the burden may the burden of a passing wheel break you useless wood and then we get that and we don't know what that is referring to yet but we'll get there also so I guess one more in a series of things that he's going to blame. Who or which you from the tree turned into use or into something useful. So this must be uh, that guy who turned you into something useful, into a use, into a useful thing from the tree. And then here's your verb, con wing com. So I will prove here that that guy who turned you into something useful from uh, out of out of just a tree would uh, would. And then we have the indirect statement did not have pure hands literally. So what he's saying here is that the guy who cut down the tree and shaped uh, the wood into the tablet. Uh, must have been like a thief or something. He did not have pure hands. So I will prove also that that man who who turned you into something useful from just a tree did not have pure hands. And that, now it can't be that man anymore, right? But uh, that one offered, I guess. But then we have arbor. So that tree offered hangings to a miserable neck. So now we're going to go after the tree. Now the tree itself was used for executions. That tree offered 
dire crosses to an executioner. And I guess we're talking about this that tree again. That tree gave Terpes foul. And we're going to go to Umbros here. Foul shade to noisy owls. <laughs> a, a, an ill-omened bird, kind of like a vulture, which is what we get down here. And tulided Oa and, and carried or bore the eggs of a vulture and a screech owl on its branches. 